Oh, hello. Welcome to the Lovegrass for Dark Forest. We're in the Russell Suite. So Phil booked this um, hotel room for us on booking.com. And um, actually the funny thing is when you see pictures on online, sometimes the room looks quite small. But actually it looks, it's a lot bigger than it looks. Yeah, hang on, let me just zoom out and we'll have a boom. There we I'm go. Quite impressed it looks a lot room. bigger. Um, we've got a four poster king size bed. Mm -hmm. This is the superior room that you booked. Um, and it's got quite a big seating area as well. It's got a two seater sofa over here with a big table. And over here it's got another two armchairs with another little table. TV up there. Look at this lovely lamp. Nice. And the desk, of course. Yeah, well, vanity, vanity table. Um, teas and coffees, wardrobe. Plenty of space in the wardrobe, too. Yeah, and I think we're at the the back or the side of the hotel, so we're not near the road, so it's a bit quieter. It's nice. Yeah, I like the colours. It's just nice and rich and warm yeah. feeling. Yeah, quite, yeah. quite sweet, like cherry. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a sweet. Yeah. So let's have a look at the bathroom. Mm. Big bathroom. Mm-hmm. Is it got a bath? Ooh, big bath. Nice. Plenty of space in there. We're only staying one night, so I don't know if I'll get a chance to actually use the bath. That's sad. But um, yeah, so we're just staying here for one night on our way south. The hotel also had an outdoor terrace where each table had its own gas fireplace. A great place to sit and enjoy a drink in the warmth. So we've stopped off overnight in Widnes um, on our journey down to the south of England because we're going to visit Phil's family. Yeah, we're going to see my great uncle um, in Winchester on the southwest of, of England and then we're going to, for a few days and then we're going to head over to into Essex to see my nan who lives in Colchester. Yeah, that's right because Phil's mum was from England originally. Which is why sometimes some of the expressions that Phil uses sound a little bit English. Make me sound posh. But yeah, my mum, she was from London. Um, and then with my granddad's occupation as a policeman, uh, they moved about a lot. Um, eventually the family sit mostly all, well, they all settled over in, in Colchester now. Yeah, and Phil's dad was Scottish. And Phil's mum and dad actually met whilst travelling in Europe. Yeah, we met in um, Corfu. His friends of friends knew each other and that's that's how they met together um, and then they traveled from there on and, and on to Israel and yeah, amazing yeah, they, experiences of that and then when they run out of money they would just come back to the UK and save up and then they would plan more travels mm. sadly both Bill's mum and dad were diagnosed with cancer in 2017 yeah and then in 2018 March 2018 my dad died of cancer and then also my mum she was with her diagnosis later in 2020 February 2020 she died um, of cancer as well so yeah so that was that was quite hard but. so just a few weeks after um Jenny died we um the whole world went into a lockdown because of COVID-19 so we spent a lot of time uh, during the lockdown, sorting through Phil's parents' house and we found a lot of their photo albums from the 70s, lots of photos of their travels and we also found journals that they had scribbled down in notebooks talking about their travels, backpacking across Europe and um, it really inspired us to travel. We, we loved travelling before the pandemic and um, it just made us think we really want to travel again and we want to document it in the modern way. Obviously, they did the best they could in the 70s, and then we oh, wanted to... It was still to... amazing, wasn't it? Like, how, how much they wrote down, and I never, I'd never read them, I was never interested in them. Mm. Reading through these journals that they did and letters, um, but it was quite interesting mm. to find out the things that they did in a bit more detail. Yeah, reading it kind of first-hand, yeah. how they felt at the time, rather than, you know, the edited version that, that we heard later. Yeah. 
Um, so that was interesting. That was cool. Also, another thing that we found when we were looking through their stuff was this T-shirt, which is actually from Israel, in Um So yeah, that's a nice little memento to have of um, of their travels. Yeah, so that was where we got our inspiration to start our YouTube channel and to video diary our travels. Yep, yep, just document uh, and go you know, through and share with other people what we're able to enjoy so that they can look at it and they can find great ideas on how to do it. But also just when you're sharing with family, you know, a lot of times you end up just getting out your phone and you're just sitting there going, oh, look at this, look at this mm -hmm. nice picture. But they can actually see something that you've videoed well. You can you've almost thought experience about it. it. Yeah, you've thought about it, you've explained it in detail mm -hmm. and then they can watch it and go, that's great. So they can either watch it in their own time. So that's where the YouTube channel really is. And also for ourselves thing. to look back on. You know, it's memories for us. Especially yeah. for me, because I've got terrible memories, but I can actually remember all of these properly. And yeah. what year it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we just find that making videos is a good way to uh, make memories. Yeah. So our journey down to see my family this week sort of made us want to thought we don't want to explain to you. So that those that are watching you can see what's inspired us to really want to travel more. Yeah, and to share it with everyone too. Exactly. All our mum and dad's good stuff. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to get uh, next week now, I think. Nearly 11 o'clock. Or do what I normally do, so I want to film and have all Probably. <laughs> We've got another long journey, well, another, what, three and a half hours tomorrow to Manchester? Yeah, just really so we're about halfway. So yeah, so Enjoy. good night and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thanks again for watching this video. Join us on our next video to explore Winchester and take a day trip with us to the city of Salisbury, which has the UK's tallest cathedral spire. See you then.